pray and don't know what to pray for. He intercedes for us before the Father. The Word of God is our journal and handle to leading a holy life. Joshua 1.8 This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. The Word of God is a chronicle piece of everything we need to walk perfectly with God. It is complete, and everything we will ever need to live a righteous life is loaded in it. Read and study it daily. Do not read it like a routine fiction novel or every other book. But read it with a willing, teachable, and expectant heart. A, B, C, and D. But do you know what they help cover? Part A helps cover. When you run a small business, first never stop coming. Your first online sale, your first race against the clock, and the first time you realize, <laughs> you've got this. And with domains, websites, and payments, GoDaddy is a partner that puts you first. Start today at GoDaddy.com slash first. So what is that Part C? Well, Medicare Part C is also known as a Medicare Advantage. The love of God is divine, true, and everlasting. The Bible even goes as far as stating that God is love. In fact, so great is the love of God that John 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of our Almighty God, Jehovah, is characterized by grace, forgiveness, and mercy. His divine love is eternal and unconditional. It's not a love that requires you to work for it, because Jesus Christ did all the work on the cross. It's not a love that you need to earn, because what Jesus did on the cross was enough. Now, I say this so that you may recognize the depth and magnitude of God's love over your life. It's a love that always protects you, a love that will provide for you, a love that forgives you. So I encourage you to praise the Lord for His consistency. Praise Him for His steadfast love. So deep is the love of the Lord that even when we are incapable of living consistently in a manner that is pleasing to Him, He is still loving. Romans 5 verse 8 says, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Think of that. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. While you and I rejected Him, He loved us. While you and I turned our backs on the Lord, He loved us. In fact, the Bible says, in John chapter 15, verse 11 to 13. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. And so, dear listener, you may have been abandoned by someone who you thought loved you, but let me tell you that Jesus Christ will never abandon you. You may have been betrayed by someone who once said they loved you, but Jesus Christ will never betray your trust. Friend, you may have been rejected by someone who you expected to love you, but let me tell you, Jesus Christ will never reject you. The Lord knows you. He knows your name. He knows the number of hairs on your head, and He cares for you. Now, with all that I have told you, I want you to take my message with the 
incorrect context. Minimal context. The love that God has for you is great indeed. However, this is no excuse to continue living in sin. Of course, God loves you. And it's because of this great love that He wants you to repent. God loves you. And it's because of this love that He wants you to lean on Him for the strength and the grace to live righteously. And so, with this understanding, let us pray. You are our Savior, Lord Jesus. And out of love, you came to this earth. You were crucified on a cross so that we can be saved. I praise you for such a deep, supernatural love that I could never repay. How great is your love, God Almighty, that you gave your only begotten Son so that I should not perish but have everlasting life. I did nothing to deserve this, but yet you freely gave your Son so that I should not perish. Your word that tells me in Jeremiah 1, verse 5, says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. May your name always be praised for such love. I thank you for meeting my greatest need, which is to be loved unconditionally. You are a God who knows all, all that is done in the light, and all deeds and thoughts in the darkness. And regardless of knowing my most shameful secrets, you still decided to offer me a perfect, sacrificial, everlasting love. You decided to offer me grace and mercy in spite of my faults. You decided to show me a powerful love, though you know me inside out, and I know where I fall short. Just as the Apostle Paul said in Romans 8, verse 38 to 39, I declare that I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thank you, Lord, for holding me together each and every day. Whenever I have needed you, you have been there for me. Whenever I have 